What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is Zulo back with another. What the? This is one of the backers of the game, if you couldn't tell already. Um, <laughs> we're back with another video. This time, we're going to be going through how to unlock the E Cop as a playable character in game. As you may have, may or may have not known, uh, the E Cop is a character you can unlock by going through the prison and finding him in one of the cells. Um, this personally took me about two and a half hours to find. Um, Partially because I'm blind. Oh lord, I almost went back to the admin district. Uh, but mainly because it is a really sneaky spot. It's like one of those areas where you, you're just like, I've been to this room 20 million times. It's not in this room, but then boom, it's in that room. It's, yeah. So we're going to go back there. We're just going to start through the beginning. Once we get to the first room, we're just going to jump into the, the top here. We're gonna get to this room with the glass box. Uh, so from one, it is now going to the top story, and we're going, heading into room four. Uh, and then once we get to four, we're gonna go to the bottom layer of stage four, and we're gonna go to the bottom of three. Once we get to the bottom of three-ish, kind of, then we're gonna go to this area where there's this rail. You grind over the rail, you jump over, and you see this room with a glass window that you've probably jumped all over in here, and you're like, how do I get to the other side? It's right here, and it's really depressing to know that, but you go down here, and you slide down through this uh, ventilation area, and then you crawl right through here, and there's going to be a camera on the other side, um, so you want to, of course, dodge the camera, um, get to the other side. And then this area, you're going to start, and you're just going to go to the left instantly, unless you want to get that container. Um, otherwise, we're just going to keep going this way. So we keep going. Uh, we've got to crouch over this, hide in the corner, because that camera behind us can see us. So we're going to wait until this one leaves, and then we're going to jump over here. And then we're going to go over here, over here, and we're just going to the back left, essentially. Um, and then there's going to be a camera right there. Oh gosh. Almost just got. Almost got seat. Alright. And then we're going to go through here. And this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So. We jump on top of this crate because my character's jump height is just not that good. Oh, never mind. I can make it. Alright. So. We get to this area. And it's going to get a little bit more. Uh, time consuming, I guess would be the word. So. Ideally. If you can, if you have enough acceleration on your character, you could probably hit the lasers and be fine. But my character is not built that way, so I have to like balance on these crates and then jump back and forth and back and forth, and back and forth until I can uh, make the jump at the end here, or not even make it at the end. But you just want to get through here, and the the thing won't be able to get you through the vent. So then from here, uh, we're not going to open that crate over there because it is going to set off an alarm because it's got the little satellite above it so instead we're just going to keep climbing upwards and then we're going to go oh whoops sorry got to go left and then to the right because there's little barriers above you so those red lines mean it's a barrier and you can't jump any higher than it so we're going to go around this way and then now we go through this last little ventilation area and do 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 do, and then here he is so there's a gonna be a purple crate thingy I think right there and then there's also a good one in here which is this orange one where I got like a pet or something red hopefully um, and then the e-cop is just sitting hanging from the sky here and you just go up to him and you scan him interesting you find a deactivated e-cop so you get the DNA kit even if there's no real DNA kit it'll be able to extract or I'll be able to extract its program and reboot it to clone e-cops which will help the resistance an e -cop gamer? Here's a dreadful weapon. <laughs> the ranks of the resistance will grow thanks to you. Well done, Zulo. I've detected a teleporter within a few meters from you. I think that can hack it and bring you back in town if that's what you want. Get on it and let me work it out. So now we have the DNA kit for this guy and we can go back into town from hitting this teleporter. Oh, I guess there's a... That's awkward. <laughs> there's another chest right there. Um... Yeah, but it's it's pretty simple to get back there, and then uh, we just go to our team, and then we'd go to plus, and we want to load the main menu, and we want to add this e cop in here. Boom! Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, 
Try to make his name. Just gonna name him Zoid. We'll load him in. Oh man, I have to go through the tutorial again. That's awkward. But this is the model. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Definitely gonna be uh, my next, <laughs> my next uh, character. Hope this uh, helps some of you guys out that have been struggling and been looking through the the prison like I have. And uh, if you if this helped you out at all or anything. Please leave a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Hover content. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.